Module 2, Chartering Projects. Welcome to our exploration of chartering projects, a foundational step that sets the stage for the success of any project. At the heart of this process lies the project charter, a document that might seem straightforward at first glance, but is imbued with the power to guide a project from inception to completion. So, what exactly is a project charter, and why does it hold such critical importance in the realm of project management? A project charter serves as the official green light for a project, granting the project team the authority to begin project execution. It's the seed from which the project grows, encompassing the vision, objectives, and the roadmap for achieving them. The charter is not just a document but a declaration of intent and commitment. It outlines the project's goals, scope, and the roles and responsibilities of the team members, ensuring that everyone involved has a clear understanding of their duties and the project's expectations. Why is the project charter critical to project success? Imagine embarking on a journey without a map or a clear destination. The project charter provides this map for the project team, offering direction and boundaries. It ensures that the project aligns with the organization's strategic goals, making it easier to secure resources and support. Additionally, it serves as a contract between the project sponsor and the team, outlining what success looks like and how it will be achieved. The elements of a project charter are carefully chosen to provide a comprehensive overview of the project at a high level. These elements include the project's purpose, which clarifies why the project is necessary, often linked to a business case that summarizes the benefits of a selected component. The business case is vital as it justifies the investment in the project, describing the problems it intends to solve or the opportunities it aims to seize, thus serving as a basis for authorizing further project management activities. Furthermore, the charter outlines the project objectives, which are measurable and time-bound goals that the project aims to achieve. These objectives guide the project team's efforts and provide criteria for measuring the project's success. The charter also details the project scope, defining what is included and excluded from the project, thereby setting clear boundaries for the work to be done. The assignment of the project manager is another critical element of the project charter. By naming the project manager, the charter empowers this individual with the authority to apply organizational resources to project activities, effectively leading the team towards achieving the project's objectives. In the realm of agile project management, the project charter also plays a pivotal role during iteration planning. It supports the team in reaching an agreement on key aspects such as the definition of done for the upcoming sprint. This consensus on what constitutes completion for project tasks ensures clarity and alignment among team members, fostering a shared understanding of project goals and quality expectations. One might wonder about the level of detail included in a project charter, especially concerning project planning. It's important to note that the milestone schedule within the charter is not meant to provide detailed data for every project activity. Instead, it offers a high-level plan, highlighting a few significant accomplishments anticipated over the life of the project. This approach keeps the focus on major milestones, facilitating easier tracking of progress without getting bogged down in the minutiae of day-to-day -day tasks. In conclusion, the project charter is not merely a document but the foundation upon which successful projects are built. It crystallizes the project's purpose, aligns the team with the organization's strategic objectives, and empowers the project manager and team to move forward with confidence. Understanding and appreciating the role of the project charter in project management is essential for anyone looking to lead or contribute to successful projects. Through its thoughtful construction and implementation, the project charter guides teams from the uncertainty of beginnings to the clarity of successful completions, marking the first step in the journey from vision to reality. Organizational Capability, Structure, Culture, and Roles In the realm of organizational management, understanding how various organizational structures, cultures, and roles contribute to overall capability is crucial. This exploration is integral to the effective implementation of strategic plans, fostering productive organizational culture, and optimizing project life cycles. When we delve into the different methods of organization, such as functional, project, strong matrix, balance matrix, and weak matrix, each comes with its set of advantages and disadvantages. A functional organization is one where operations are divided into specialized units, with clear lines of authority and a streamlined chain of command. Individuals report to one supervisor, fostering a high degree of specialization. 
However, this structure can create silos, impeding resource sharing across departments, which is vital in today's interconnected work environments. In contrast, project organizations embrace a co-location strategy, where team members work in close physical proximity. This approach enhances communication and collaboration, fostering a unity of purpose that is harder to achieve in dispersed teams. This physical consolidation of resources proves particularly effective in dynamic and fast-paced project environments. The structural design of an organization invariably impacts how a strategic plan is rolled out. For example, a strong matrix structure strives for a balance between functional and project considerations, offering more flexibility than a purely functional design, yet with clearer authority than a weak matrix. The balanced matrix, sitting at the midpoint, allows for efficient resource allocation while maintaining functional alignment. Meanwhile, a weak matrix resembles a functional structure with a dash of project influence, suitable for organizations where projects are necessary but not the core focus. Navigating through these structures requires an appreciation for the organizational culture, which can either bolster or block projects' success. Elements such as open communication, shared vision, and collaborative ethos are conducive to project management. Nevertheless, cultures resistant to change or with rigid hierarchies can stifle projects. Leaders must therefore cultivate a culture that supports their strategic direction and project objectives, using change management strategies to mitigate cultural barriers. Project life cycle models are also influenced by these organizational nuances. For instance, the adaptive, change-driven project life cycle, characterized by iterations known as sprints, is a hallmark of agile methodologies. This model is best suited for environments where requirements are volatile and rapid adaptability is paramount. Conversely, the predictive, plan-driven model is more aligned with stable environments, where scope and requirements are well-defined from the onset. The roles within these organizational structures carry distinct duties, motivations, and challenges. Executives, for instance, are tasked with governance and strategic alignment, motivated by the overarching vision and long-term goals of the organization. Their challenge lies in balancing stakeholder interests while steering the company through its strategic journey. Managers, on the other hand, are the linchpins of operational excellence. They are motivated by the successful execution of plans and the optimization of resources. Their challenges often revolve around coordinating cross-functional efforts and maintaining team morale. Team members are the foot soldiers, motivated by the accomplishment of tasks and the camaraderie of collective effort. Their primary challenge is to maintain productivity amidst shifting project demands and to uphold quality standards. When selecting individuals for these roles, it is vital to consider not just their technical skills but also their alignment with the organizational culture, their adaptability to different structures, and their ability to communicate and collaborate effectively. In summary, an organization's capability is a multifaceted construct shaped by its structure, culture, and the roles within it. The interplay of these elements determines not only the successful implementation of strategy but also the agility and resilience of the organization in the face of change. Understanding these dynamics can empower leaders and teams to navigate organizational complexities with foresight and finesse.